Not many owners show the planning and restraint of Newport's Paul Hain. His multi-million dollar home is virtually brand new, yet he bought the land for it, as I discovered, back in 1975. There was a, um, a house I went to when I was about 19 or 20 by Paul Reader in Bungham Beach. And I said, one day I'm going to move down that way. And I actually went out and bought, searched around for land. It was never on the market. Mm. You are a patient man. Yes, exactly. But worth it. Yes, it is. It's, I wouldn't live anywhere else. There's five and a half bathrooms, I think. Four bedrooms, big large bedrooms, and then you could have a self-contained flat as well. You've got um, an entertainment room and a large living dining room and an office. I think one of your, uh, your greatest follies is, of course, the tennis court. Yes, that was a, a second thought, actually. <laughs> I had a space there and I was initially thinking of putting a squash court in, but I couldn't quite get the height, so we did an outdoor area that I can practice tennis on. Not that I'm a good tennis player, but it's a good outdoor area for kids. Yeah. Um, it's and a fabulous it's idea. Oh, it's great. It is a location that's one in a million, isn't it? Well, I don't think there's very, on the northern beaches, there's very few oceanfront places with the right aspect. Oh. Um, and privacy, the privacy here is, nobody's going to block you. Movie star could buy this one. Well, somebody looked at it, but he's... Oh, come on, share! Who no, looked at it? Come on! It wasn't so, suitable for him. Oh, because it was a him, though. <laughs> 75 Bungan Head Road is looking for around $8 million to LJ Hooker. Nearby, well, kinda, is Surfview Road, Mona Vale. It's a take two listing. It was on the web for a while last year, but it was taken off by the owners who decided they needed one last summer on the water, and you can see why. Absolutely dead flat land with not one, but two beach houses. The two-storey one has three bedrooms, while the one a tad closer to the crashing waves has the mother of all bedrooms and opens to the beach. Gosh, this is beautiful and enormous. A 33 metre beach frontage, accessible beach frontage that you can walk right into, which is not something you see everywhere. It is divine. It's a Rehuka Mona Vale. Now a few thousand kilometres away. Well, not that many, but still 40 k's from Ballarat and Victoria is perhaps the most stunning homestead property you will find in Victoria. From the same architect who brought us the delights of Melbourne Grammar School is the 1860 Mount Mitchell Homestead. Bluestone, colonnaded, it's a Victorian classic. Really a property to be admired as much as you would any artwork. On the 310 hectare site is a guest cottage and the main homestead with magnificently proportioned rooms and many original fittings such as the gas lights that have been painstakingly refitted as electric lights, which is no mean feat when you're working with bluestone walls. The kitchen is essentially unchanged in layout, but carefully contemporised. This is the labour of love by the owner of the last 30 or so years, Richard Salter, who has saved this property and its wonderful grounds from certain devastation. Yes, it is heritage listed, thank heavens, and it seeks a new custodian. 3056 Sunraysia Highway. What? an unromantic address for such a dream home. It's list with Pat Rice and Hawkins, Melbourne. And here's the surprise, it may go for less than $5 million if I only had the dough. More next week, see you then.